a haunting legend emerged in Afghanistan's tumultuous war landscape. A tale that merged the supernatural with mortal strife. The Rock, an ancient outpost in the harsh Afghan desert, was a grim witness to a past steeped in enigma and curses. Captured from the Taliban, it became a station for U.S. Marines. Whispers circulated about a chilling past the Taliban fighters buried alive in the outpost caves. The haunting presence of Russian soldiers lost in a doomed invasion. As the Marines dug in, they unearthed skeletal remains and ancient pottery, fragments of a long time ago. Yet the haunting extended beyond the tangible. Soldiers reported eerie sightings and unsettling shadows in the dead of night, the air thick with unseen entities. Afghanistan's battlefields witnessed this convergence of worlds and seen the unseen. As soldiers grappled with the horrors of war, they confronted an enigmatic realm of ghosts and phantoms. A spectral countenance emerged in this crucible challenging comprehension and instilling a dread beyond the ordinary. War, it seemed, was more than one face. It bore a spectral face that beckoned from the shadows, leaving the bravest souls haunted. Keep watching till the end to uncover the unsettling mysteries of Afghanistan's supernatural legacy as we delve into the enigmatic narrative of colossal beings, demons, and unexplained anomalies. Trust me, you want to take advantage of this. In the tumultuous year of 2002, amidst the backdrop of Operation Enduring Freedom, an unsettling legend emerged from the mountainous heart of Afghanistan, an account both chilling and larger than life. The tale of the Kandahar giant was a colossal being standing in an astonishing 13 feet, adorned with fiery red hair, six fingers on each hand, and a menacing set of teeth. The narrative begins with a group of soldiers on patrol in the treacherous terrain of Kandahar. In an unfathomable turn of events, they vanish, plunged into radio silence, leaving behind an unsettling void. In response, the military dispatched a special ops unit to seek the truth and unearth the hidden enigma. Ascending the rugged mountains, the team stumbled upon a cave an eerie cavern adorned with scattered military gear, but empty of any trace of the missing soldiers. It was within the shadows of this cave that the Kandahar giant emerged, a being beyond comprehension. This creature, as the legends recount, was no ordinary being. It possessed an aurora of dread and an intimidating physicality. Its description is etched in chilling specifics. Six fingers on each hand, fiery red hair cascading, and a stench that evoked death itself. Shockingly, it wielded a spear and struck down one of the brave soldiers with brutal force. A storm of gunfire ensured, an intense barrage rained down on the giant for 30 seconds. The giant, a menacing yet vulnerable figure, succumbed to the onslaught. The soldiers triumphed, but the enigma of the giant persisted leaving the world grappling with a tale that defied belief. After the encounter, the government veils the truth in silence and secrecy. The giant's colossal body was swiftly whisked away by Chinook helicopter, disappearing from the world's gaze forever. The soldiers present during the incident were sworn to silence, bound by non-disclosure agreements, leaving the world to grapple with the tale that defied belief. Skepticism and questions abounded. The Department of Defense, in response to inquiries, denied any record or information about the Kandahar giant. Conspiracy theorists began to surface, asserting that the government was concealing a larger truth, feeding the legend with their denial. Delving deeper into the origins of this myth, interpretations intertwined the biblical narrative with the events of that faithful day. The Nephilim, an ancient race of giants mentioned in the Old Testament was evoked as a possible identity for the Kandahar giant. However, scholars assert these tales are metaphors 
rather than factual accounts of a 13-foot giant wandering the Afghan desert. Yet the myths endure, whispering among veterans who served in Kandahar in 2002. Amidst military campaigns, these extraordinary encounters with the giants continue to echo. Tales of the giant of Kunar and other colossal beings weave on intricate tapestry of unexplained occurrences in Afghanistan. Witnesses speak of giants standing tall amidst mountains, their presence defying explanation. As we venture more profoundly, we are left to wonder whether paranormal mysteries genuinely reside in the mountains of Afghanistan. Or is this the tale fueled by the secrets of war and a desire to glimpse beyond the ordinary? The Unveiling of Use of Moab Secrets lay dormant until an earth-shattering moment in April 2017. The mother of all bombs, Moab, a cataclysmic force boasting 21,600 pounds of explosive might was unleashed in the heart of Afghanistan, ostensibly targeted at ISIS terrorists. Shadows whispered concealed truths. Whispers spoke of giants awakening from ancient status chambers, protectors of enigmatic age-old technological secrets. As the echoes of the colossal explosion reverberated, Corey Good, a whistleblower from the secret space program, unraveling a clandestine saga. These status chambers warp time, rendering millennia into mere moments for being described as towering giants with reddish beards, once rulers of extensive territories. Intriguingly, the Moab's name resonated with ancient echoes, a possible allusion to a biblical battle where giants met their end paving the way for new claims to land. But here's where the plot thickens. Isis, an acronym representing an ancient Egyptian goddess potentially tied to an extraterrestrial or giant influence in our evolutionary tale. Could the war against Isis be a disguise for a covert conflict against these ancient giants and their concealed wisdom? And then Mount Hermon emerged as a critical player holding ancient secrets and believed to be a base for the enigmatic fallen angels. Recent geopolitical moves, including U.S. interventions in Syria, hint at a quest to control concealed extraterrestrial technologies. For a deeper dive into the mysteries of entwined in the fabric of ancient Egypt, watch our video, The Egyptian Myth of Isis Will Blow Your Mind, The Manas and Mysterious Disappearances. In the rugged mountains of Afghanistan lies a hidden secret buried within the depths of a cave, an ancient vimana, an aerial vehicle from the depths of Indian antiquity. This vimana, said to be around 5,000 years old, holds unfathomable power and mysteries. Intriguingly, the discovery has led to a series of perplexing events, including the sudden disappearance of eight American soldiers, seemingly trapped in a temporal loop. Attempts to extract the Vimana have been hindered by an enigmatic energy barrier, a time well, as if the forces protecting this ancient marvel defy the passage of time. The significance of the discovery prompted a string of visits by world leaders to Afghanistan. Among others, Barack Obama, David Cameron, Nicolas Sarkozy, and Angela Merkel made seemingly urgent trips to this mysterious land. As Hindu scriptures describe, the Vimana possesses incredible capabilities. It can traverse terrestrial atmospheres, oceans, and even outer space. The concept of Vimanas is deeply rooted in ancient Indian texts, reflecting their prowess as anti-gravitational vehicles. The Mahabharata, Ramayana, and Bhagavata Purana elaborate on these flying machines. Vedic literature, particularly the Rig Veda, contains numerous references to these extraordinary vehicles, symbolizing the advancement and technological marvels of that era. The Vamanas were diverse, ranging from three-story, triangular vessels with three wheels to rocket-like structures with powerful weaponry. Their weapons, which included circular reflectors, 
emitted a destructive shaft of light, mirroring advanced technology that we struggle to comprehend today. The Vimana technology is also mentioned in the ancient Indian text, Vimanaka Shastra. This ancient manuscript outlines flying machine size, construction details, steering mechanisms, and precautions for long flights. The Vimanas were powered by an unknown force called Lagama, allowing them to levitate and potentially visit other planets. However, Translating the metals and alloys described in these ancient texts still needs to be completed. There are references to unknown metals and the use of solar energy for propulsion, reflecting an advanced understanding of energy sources. Interestingly, Dr. Ruth Reina of the University of Chandigarh translated Sanskrit. Documents found in Lhasa, Tibet, suggest directions for constructing intracellular spaceships. The propulsion system was labeled anti-gravitational, hinting at the unknown force of Lagama, the enigmatic tale of observation post rock. In the desolate expanse of Afghanistan's Helmand province lies a place both feared and mysterious. It's a 30-foot high dirt mound known to the Marines as observation post rock. The soldiers there face particular occurrences that sent chills down their spines. Strange lights in the night, whispers in the dark, eerie radio static, and an unexplainable sin of death. This lonely outpost became the center of a ghost story woven into the tapestry of Afghanistan's enduring conflicts and countless deaths. Over a decade ago, when the Marines first arrived, it was known as the Rock offering a strategic vantage point against their enemies. However, Lance Corporal Brandon Kelly stumbled upon a hidden secret. The hill's ancient design concealed small tunnels and a chamber, possibly a fort or tomb. When the Marines detonated the mound, thinking it was a Taliban defense position, they invertly disturbed buried human bones, revealing the ancient past of this enigmatic mound. Local lore suggests the hill was once a fort, transformed over centuries into a spiritual burial site. It bears the weight of empires the Savavit, Magal, and Ghaznavid, each leaving a mark on this land. However, the hill's dark history was solidified during the Soviet-Afghan War when captured communist police officers were executed at its peak and buried within the mound. But this lonely place wasn't just haunted by the specters of history. Marines stationed at Observation Post Rock reporting unnerving experiences, drastic temperature changes, mysterious lights, and whispers in the night. Locals whispered of its haunting, describing foul odors like death in the air. In 2015, the sci-fi television channel aired an episode about the outposts cementing its reputation as a conduit for the paranormal. Marines swore they heard unexplained Russian voices in the darkness, adding to the rock's eerie atmosphere. We've peeled back the layers of mystery, unveiling the tales of giants, demons, and other anomalies that linger in the Afghan sands. But here's the question. Which supernatural enigma intrigued you the most? Was it the colossal giants or perhaps the unexplainable Vimanas. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for joining this exploration into Afghanistan's supernatural legacy. If you were as captivated as we were, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. For more mind-blowing revelations, watch our video, The True Origins of Genesis Creation Will Blow Your Mind. Until next time, keep delving into the realms of the extraordinary with us.